Hi guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel and today I'm just sharing with you guys one of the most requested guides that has ever been suggested by my subscribers that I make. The reason it has taken me this long to make this guide is quite simple. That is because I didn't know how to answer the question. This guide will show you how to get the rarest character model in State of Decay. This isn't the shark hoodie, this isn't the cowboy, this is the elusive blue hoodie girl called Sue Rose. As it turns out, Sue Rose is actually a unique character model. She always has the same name and she always has the same character model and skills and traits. So here is how to recruit the blue hoodie girl, Sue Rose herself. Sadly, recruiting Sue Rose isn't exactly as easy as I would have liked it to be. In fact, for me, it was completely random. As you will see in this video, I recruited her in a regular Stranger in Trouble mission that Lily pinged. This event happens in episode 22 of my State of Decay title update 3 walkthrough series. So, you guys who are enjoying that series will get to see my actual reaction when I find her for the first time. This was the first time I'd ever seen this character model at all, so, as you guys can expect, I was pretty much insane. <laughs> Of course, there are some important factors to her recruitment that I will share with you guys now if you're looking to recruit her too. Firstly, time is obviously a factor. I was 22 episodes into my walkthrough series at roughly 25 minutes per episode. This means that this is around 550 minutes of game time. The second factor is the fact that in every episode I was requesting new survivors over the radio and recruiting them. The third factor is that I was also killing off as many character models as possible to keep my camp small. So these three factors obviously interlink. I spent a lot of time recruiting characters, I spent a lot of time killing off character models and in the end, 550 minutes or so later, Sue Rose, the rare blue hoodie girl, was spawned and joined my camp. So, for anyone who is looking to recruit the rare blue hoodie girl Sue Rose, it does not come down to luck entirely, but more so, it can come down to putting time into recruiting survivors over the radio and killing off survivors to make room for more. Eventually, even if it did take me nearly 10 hours, Sue Rose, the rare blue hoodie character, did spawn for me and she is now mine, muhahaha. Hopefully, she does spawn much faster for you guys than she did for me. But for what it's worth, this character is so rare that this is actually the first time I've ever actually seen her in the game. The footage that you guys are seeing is the actual footage that I recorded for my walkthrough series. This is the actual footage, the first time I ever saw this character, so yes, that's how rare this character is. And you guys know roughly how many hours I've put into this damn game. That's a lot of hours because... In September, it's nearly September, I am still very much as addicted to State of Decay as I was when I first played the game on release. So yes guys, you can understand how rare this character is. So that's all there is to it folks, and I hope you find this guide helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more State of Decay guides and content and walkthroughs and stuff. And of course I have also pre-ordered Diablo 3 and Grand Theft Auto 5, so you, can, you guys can expect guides on those games as and when they are released. Don't know why my voice did that. Good luck to you guys if you do try to find Sue Rose, the rare blue hoodie girl. And I really hope, for your sake, for your sanity, that it takes you less time than it took me to find her. Thanks guys, Wayne here for the Let's Play Kit Gaming channel. Thanking you for 8,500 loyal, loving subscribers. I love you all. Goodbye my friends.